This Lego book was a fun new idea for me. I like the idea that you can put the set together and then close the book with all the pieces inside. While the pieces did all stay inside, they did not stay where they should. The middle pieces kept falling off and I couldn't get them to stay in place. That was frustrating. But it was still fun to put together. In 44 and struggled with the small size of the pieces, but a child would have no problems with those. I was also frustrated by the instructions. They reminded me of when we put my IKEA furniture together. Overall it would still make a great gift for a kid. Such a cute Lego set. My daughter is almost 4 and had fun watching and helping me build this. I love anything Disney, so this was even better than other small sets wet built. My only complaint were all the teeny tiny pieces that were more for decoration and building purposes. We ended up missing a few before we even finished the set. My daughter loved the little slide and seashell that opened. They are like little play sets themselves. I hope to see other Disney princess sets like this in the future. My 7 year old daughter loves this Lego set. It's very much a Lego set that is reminiscent of Polly Pocket Toys with a small playset that is contained. She loves her older brother's Lego Ideas pop-up book and was thrilled to have her own version. She is needing less help building her Lego sets so she was able to build all the things for the inside of this book on her own but she did need some help connecting them inside and putting the book itself together. This set comes with a fold-out instruction page instead of a booklet and in some cases shows the pieces in place without showing you what pieces to get or where to put them which could make it tricky for younger builders so I'm not sure about the age recommendation starting at 5. My son has always caught on quickly with Legos but my daughter likes to follow the directions and hates when they don't show steps so it might depend on the child. The instructions break down the three buildable sets into very easy to follow steps. First is the slide set which my daughter really loves and tells me how well the figures and animals slide down it compared to her other Lego slides. Next is a larger arch with a big clam on top. The clam opens and you can close and flounder other treasures inside. Finally is a coral piece with a Prince Eric bust. All those parts fit into the book binding so the book can easily close. There's also a small boat to build. Both sides of the book have a few Lego circles to attach pieces or figures to. One side has an island outline and the other has coral in the middle of the sea. My daughter absolutely loves the tiny figures. There are two aerials, one is her classic mermaid look and one in her pink ball gown when she has human legs. There is also a Prince Eric and the little Sebastian and Flounder. The instructions call for putting two stickers on the outside of the book that came from the same small sticker sheet but there was a separate sticker sheet that can be used to decorate any way you want. My daughter really loved getting to place the stickers wherever she wanted. She also loves that the gold stickers have a shimmer to it. Everything fits inside and closes up but you do have to be careful about placement so it will close up. The pieces do have to be very firmly pushed in or they will come out when you close it up. This set looks so great closed up on a shelf like a book. I love that all the parts are contained which is less of a mess and less stuff to keep track of so it remains a lot of fun for her to play with. She's having so much fun with this set and already asking for another one. We love this new line which is so clever and a lot of fun for play. Absolutely love the storybook design and aerial theme. Kind of a cross between Lego and Polly Pocket. A must for traveling because it is more of a play set than a building kit. This 105 piece set is an easy build for the targeted age group. The only problem we had was looking for one of the pieces, it looked pink in the directions, but it is coral. Of course, it's a small set so it wasn't all that difficult to figure out. Please note that these figures are different, and smaller, than the figures in your other LEGO sets. It's nice that you have a complete set to act out whatever scene you can imagine. The figures are compatible with the other three small storybook sets. 
When playtime is complete, everything fits right back into the storybook until next time. A great set to take along for quiet time play. We have opted to keep our storybooks in a separate special box for quiet time. Although we love the set, there is not much building to do. That is neither a pro or con to the set. I just want to point it out to those that are interested in knowing. Please see pictures. Would love these sold as a complete storybook set. Click link in description for more reviews.